Yes, it's uh, Eric Previn, the county resident from District 3 and a third uh, supervisorial district candidate. I uh, support Supervisor Molina's motion. I feel that the CEO real estate division uh, failed in this particular case because obviously this is not, if you listen to the uh, folks who are living in this building, this has been a, um, uh, not secretive, but a the failures in providing credible information to the residents who live there uh, speak for itself. It's just it's just not appropriate. Now, we have issues with never in my backyard or NIMBY here in our mental health group. And I'm very sensitive to that because, you know, one in 17 uh, Americans, that's 6% have serious mental illness. And we know in this particular area, we have a even higher problem. And I think that many of these uh, constituents identify their concern about that population too. And um, but providing a reasonable facility, a facility that's appropriate for this kind of services and treatment is, is key. And, uh, you know, I'm cringing a teeny bit because last week, as we all heard, at item one or whatever they changed it to, I think 85 possibly, they approved an item for uh, the buying out of a guy for three and a half million dollars in Mental Health Act money for capital rollout. And there was no good reason to do that. It's a three and a half, the guy had taken three and a half million dollars the previous seven years. So this guy made a fortune. We now are closing down a big facility. And I don't know for sure, but I wonder if the closing down of that facility is what is driving this expansion into this area or not. I don't know. Uh, I have not had the time to look closely at that detail, but it worries me. It worries me that we are, uh, and that item of course, fell far beneath the open government standards. It just identified a guy named Central LLC, and you couldn't find anything about that in all the materials until you, I had to get a county council public record, and then I have to take insults from the CEO about those uh, requests to learn that Steve Lee has over $1.5 million in county rent Thank you. Time's on up. facilities like this. It's not appropriate. Uh, so, uh, Arnold.